the shallow ocean waters look calm, but under the surface, a coral reef is a super busy place. Hundreds, even thousands of different creatures swim and hide along the reef. There they find food and shelter, and they make their home in this city under the sea. Coral reefs look like they are made of rocks, but in fact, they are a group of animals called corals. Each coral group is made up of many separate coral polyps. In reef ecosystems, there are two kinds of coral, hard and soft. Only hard coral polyps form reefs. They're named for the hard skeletons they build at the base of their soft bodies. One coral polyp can be as small as the head of a pin, but when many polyps join together, they make a reef that can stretch for miles. New polyps build their hard skeletons on top of old ones. Over many years, these layers of skeletons slowly grow into a coral reef. Creatures big and small can be found on reefs around the world. Sea stars travel slowly along a reef surface. Giant clams rest there too. Seahorses wrap their tails around pieces of coral. Sea turtles swim around reefs and eels hide in their cracks. Many animals use camouflage to hide along the reef. Some use it to stay safe from other animals that could eat them, while others use it to hide as they hunt. For example, a cuttlefish can change its shape and skin color to match the coral reef. Plants play an important role in coral reef ecosystem. Tiny algae live inside the coral polyps' soft bodies. The algae use sunlight to make food for the coral and this helps the coral grow. The seagrass that grows in the flat zone of the reef by the land helps trap mud from rivers that flow into the ocean. Seagrass also provides food for dugongs and sea turtles. As night falls, life along the reef changes. Different animals come out to find food such as squirrelfish, who use their large eyes to search for shrimp in the darkness. Octopuses, who stretch their arms over the reef to feel for food, and sharks hunting for fish. Sadly, many reefs are in danger. Scientists are worried about threats to coral reefs like pollution, sometimes spilling into the ocean, or fishing and boating damaging fragile reefs. But there is good news. Many people are working to save reefs. Volunteers help clean up pollution on land and at sea. Some countries even have special areas, called preserves, where coral reefs are protected. Divers and swimmers like you can help too. The next time you see a beautiful coral reef, look, but don't touch.